What's up, my YouTube family? It's your boy, Roberto, checking in with another video, guys. So right now, I'm in my garage. It's junky. I know the kids' toys and everything. It's just a whole bunch of junk out here. But uh, <laughs> I just seen a video um, from Mongolia. You guys don't know what Mongolia is. The country between Russia and China that sits in between them. You guys haven't heard about the Mongolian Empire, one of the biggest empires, if not the biggest empire that ever existed. Well, Mongolia and China, you know, they're big on a, a, a... Oh my God, is my phone is doing. They're big on a, on things like dragons and stuff like that. And this video clip I'm going to show you is a video clip of a dragon that was supposedly found in Mongolia. So check it out and let me know what you think, okay? Now, I don't know how official this video is, guys, and I could be wrong, so don't, you know, don't bash me on it, but it looks very, very real, and it makes it even more realistic because people have been known for seeing these things, and people always call them crazy, and they call them all types of things, but that dragon looked it very much real, and dragons have always been around. They've always been a thing. Mythical creatures is something that's very unknown to our earth and unknown to the world that we live in it's something that doesn't get enough attention mythical creatures should get way more attention than they do people really just only focus on bigfoot and the loch ness monster there is way more to it than just bigfoot and the loch ness monster and i wish people seen this and and, and they they uh they put more effort into into uh, uh, finding these things that dragon I'm pretty sure there's many more of them things long, uh, roaming around. There's big cave systems that are unexplored with all types of different life forms in it. China just found one of the biggest underground cave systems ever. It had its own rainforest, its own ecosystem. New animals were discovered. This is the type of stuff that we tend to throw under the rug because we're focused on so many other things. If these dragons get unleashed, because I feel like the locals already knew about these things and no one believes the locals when they talk about it. And I actually met a person that was from uh, Mongolia. This was about seven or eight years ago. Um, actually, I worked with this person at Walmart when I was working at Walmart through a temp service and when I seen this dragon, it brought me back to that story that he told me. And he was telling me how this village in Mongolia, how they, uh, you know, they believe in mythical creatures, especially dragons. Well, he was telling me how him and his brother was out fishing or bringing back fish, something, bringing something back to the village. And it was later on at night. They got caught by the night. They were coming back and they seen a dragon flying overhead. And it scared the crap out of them. It scared the crap out of them. But it scared them because they had heard about it, but they had never seen these mythical creatures. And to actually see this mythical creature flying above them. Now, he, he, didn't, he said it wasn't shooting fire like what we're used to seeing, dragons shooting fire. But he said it flew over their heads into the skies and went towards a mountain or something like that. I can't remember the exact story. I don't want to lie. But... It went towards mountains or something like that. But this is stuff that's happening all the time. People in India, uh, 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 these other countries that have these big forests and a, a lot of undiscovered stuff like the Amazon forest in Brazil, there are snakes. The locals in Brazil talk about anacondas, uh, I believe anacondas or pythons, being up to 60 to 70 foot long. You know how 
enormous that is. Just imagine seeing a 60 or a 70 foot long snake slithering down the road. That is something that's scary. So when we see these mythical creatures that we think they're extinct and they're not extinct, you got to think of all the unexplored stuff. The Amazon forest is nearly almost unexplored, completely unexplored. You got cave systems that have been unexplored, have whole ecosystems, have rainforests and all. It's a lot of stuff that we just don't know about. I'm getting a little sick, guys, so don't mind. I'm sorry if I keep spitting. But this is part of the... Uh, 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 world that we live in because a lot of these locals and these places that are unexplored they know a lot of things that we don't know about and we're trying we should be trying to learn about that dragon is similar to the dinosaurs that i talked about in africa very very similar to the dinosaurs that i talked about in africa but this is actually a flying dragon you see you see it laid out on the ground it's pretty big from what it looked like it's pretty big it's not humongous but it's big what do these things feed on do they feed on people do they feed on other animals what do they feed on that is a question that is the question how many more mythical creatures will we find sometimes we worry so much about space ufos extraterrestrials we forget about the mythical creatures that we have right here on our planet like sometimes I look up in the sky or look in the trees and I wonder what creatures lie right here on earth with us that we don't know anything about. Some of these creatures are, are, are created by the government. The government does create or, or they try to crossbreed animals that shouldn't be crossbreed. And sometimes they create creatures that should not be created. Just like they're trying to create this super soldier, which they're completely done with. That's going to be a video itself, another video itself. But this is what's going on around the world. This is how serious it is. Halloween's coming. Halloween is coming. So we will see a lot of crazy things. Watch out for witches. Watch out for these dragons. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this dragon. Let me know. You think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Let me know, because I personally feel like there are dragons out there. There are still dinosaurs out there, but they're very good at keeping away from us. They're, we got them outnumbered. Humans are apex predators of the world. We kill everything. Pay attention, guys. There is about to be a wave of mythical creatures. There are some unexplored things. There are some things in the ocean that... People on submarines have come in contact with. There are some submarines that have windows in them. There are. Just pay attention, guys, and stay woke.